Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Virgo weekly money and career reading from June 17th to the 23rd, 2024. Virgos, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Virgos weekly money and career. June 17th to the 24th, 23rd, sorry, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name at the end of the month of June and announce it on a live probably okay let's get started virgo i have to say that i did a reading and and i had a tech issue and so i had to scrap it so let's see if we have the same messages virgo weekly money and career june 17th to the 23rd 2024 if you're interested in putting um in um Supporting this channel and joining a uh, membership, uh, becoming an active member, uh, you can click on the join button. It'll take you wherever you wish to go. would love to have you. I know it's not for everyone, but um, it supports the channel and it also uh, gives you access to um, the tarot questions during the live. We do lives every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful community, so we'd love to have you uh, part of uh, the Card Minds energy base. All right, let's get started, Virgo. Uh, let's see what messages we have for this upcoming uh, week. All right, let's get started here. Let's see what we have. The Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sat. Maybe you're building something. I mean, it can be someone, you know, an Aries Leo Sag around you with whom you're working. Or, But um, let's see. Nine of Swords. Ace of Wands. You're starting something. You're building something. You're confident. You're stressed out but confident. Very focused. Very passionate about whatever it is you're building. Yeah, it's becoming official. Um this is something important to you with the hierophant it's some it's something um it, it's it's something that is becoming structured official signing contracts signing documents but maybe also this is someone helping you, guiding you, right? The Hierophant is a leader. Someone in a sort of con some a conventional personality. Someone that um, maybe works in an establishment, in a structure. This can be a professor. This can be a teacher. This can also be an administrator, but it's it's also it's really someone look you look up to, right? And that um, it's someone that has the experience that has um, ha that already knows the process that has already proven to work in the past, something like that. Some someone experienced, but also. Um, yeah, someone that um, knows how to do this in a structured and conventional way. In other words, it's not it's not out of the comfort zone. It's not pushing creativity. Oh, okay. All right, you don't want that. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Uh, so maybe this was something. Uh, yeah, maybe you were in a, or maybe you are in a structure that's too confined, too conventional, that doesn't like to rock the boat, right? It's like, um, that doesn't like to think outside of the box, too conform, too restricted, right? Um, 
where you need uh, the um, approval of others, where you, you know, uh, you need to, well, you might be seeking guidance, right? You might be seeking guidance from someone, like a stamp of approval of someone. But it feels here that, you know, this is very traditional and very structured, ruled, regulated, and you're done with that. You're disappointed with that. So maybe you were, you know, working or are working in a structure that's too confined for you. And you want more creativity. You want more freedom. You want to be able to think out of the box and be able to go beyond, right, the rules and rev regulations of a very structured um, company, very structured um, team, um, establishment, whatever it is. And, and you're disappointed because it's too restricted. Okay, so you're getting a new offer here, a new opportunity, a new business opportunity or money coming in regarding uh, something you're waiting for. Yes, three of wands. It's coming in. Good. Good for you. And it's more stability. So I think here with this establishment company structure you're working with, there's disappointment here. And there's people that didn't have your back and you maybe you followed, maybe you did everything you had to do or could do. And it just, you, you there's a lot of disappointment there and resentment there because people didn't have your back. That's why you have this dress here, but you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, which tells me that there's a new beginning, there's a new offer, a new business opportunity, and that's bringing you stability. People are helping you. There's someone helping you or you're helping others. Whatever it is, you're finding a balance. With this Three of Wands, it's really moving in to success, planning success planning this new goal, planning this new adventure. It's all coming in, right? So now you can start working on it. It's not a goal anymore. It's now actually happening. So for me, this three of wands is success at the horizon. It's expanding your career, planning your future. It's also probably um, you know, opening yourself up to the world and choosing a new path, two aces, all new beginning, um, because of this restriction you had, you're now going into something much more balanced. Hmm. There's a sense of sharing there too, caring for others. Maybe you're in a community or maybe it was a community or maybe you're in a community now that is much more caring. Let's see. Yeah, there's a complete disconnect done with the past here, whatever that is, and you had to rethink it. And here you are, Virgo. So yeah, oh, it's bringing in, I like this, uh, Ten of Pentacles, I like that. It's, you know, it's bringing stability financial stability, but also being in a community where you're there for others and others are there for you. And I think that these people didn't have your back. It was so restricted. You're disconnected. Um, you don't want to go back there. You don't want to be part of that community or part of that company or all those rules and regulations that were really pinned you down and, and people didn't have your back. And it's like, it's, it doesn't feel well, right? It doesn't feel, it's not the end of the world, right? But you're disconnected. You don't want to have anything to do with them. You're, you're really disappointed and frustrated and really don't want to, like if they offer you something again, you're not, you don't, you're not even interested, but you feel like they almost wasted your time. But you still have three cups here. Like, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. But you are rethinking all of this with the hermit, right? It's time to rethink. Time to recenter yourself. Try Time to realize that you have to make the change inside. This is about introspection. This is about understanding what you want. And, you know, how you can move things around. Um, that you can make decisions, right? That it's not all about the institution. This feels like an institution. So again, maybe your teacher, 
maybe you have a government job, maybe you have a job, you know, with a lot of, maybe it's finances and you have a lot of rules and regulations, something like that, quite restrictive. But here, you know that if you want to make a change, if you want to shift things around and do it your way or go on a new path, it's understanding that you have to make the changes, right? It's with, the changes are going to be within and not within the distractions of the outside world. I don't think anybody else is going to shift things around for you, right? It's accepting that um, you have to draw your, inner, your, your energies inward to find the answers you seek, right? And take a break from that everyday life. Take a break from the preceding situation that didn't work for you and dig deep to figure out, you know, in your soul, who you really are and what you want to decide further, you know, what do you want to make of it? Because I think that you're realizing that your knowledge and your truth or sense of truth is within yourself, right? Not, not within others outside. It's a pivotal point here. It's a pivotal point and you are clearly moving into a new direction. And if you're not there yet, you're considering a new direction. It's a way of reevaluating your personal goals and maybe change. It looks like you're changing your overall path. I mean, it doesn't have to be a change of career, but certainly a change of environment. You're not working for the same people. You don't want to be as confined. And um, I feel like you're looking at your life or you will look at your life with a, a, a deeper perspective, a more spiritual understanding of some of your priorities. Your priorities are changing. Um, let's see if um, there's one, um, and, and, and not to, to hide anything that the past reading as a, was about, and I feel like there's a sense of that here, but it's not as revealed, a sense of truth. Like you want the truth, you, you want to know what happened, or you want to know why they didn't have your back, or you want to know why that person was like that, whatever it is, whether it's an institution, the company, the person, the leader, the boss, whatever, um, you feel like that, like there was something, you know, they didn't have your back or maybe they uh, lied to you or maybe they didn't give you all the information or maybe they didn't deliver what they promised or you were disappointed in certain ways of managing or maybe you're disappointed in a coworker or something like that. And I feel like you, what is important is the sense of truth. So here with the hermit, it's about you understanding where your priorities stand, where your values stand, and what you want to change within yourself to make the decision to change your overall path. Now again, you have again the six of pentacles on the bottom. Um, again, this doesn't have to be a change of career, but it's certainly a change of environment for sure. And, and you're, you're finding stability with the Ten of Pentacles and, and you're finding stability and, you know, the Six of Pentacles and harmony in this new path that you are choosing. But take your time with the Hermit. Take your time to, you know, allow yourself the time and space to reflect and understand what it is that you want now forward. All right, let's see if there are a few more cards coming up in the second deck. I'm losing my voice. Yes, nice Virgo. Very rarely do we not have the sun for you, Virgo. You have this sort of positive aura, positive energy, you know, the nostalgia of the past, the no nostalgia of the past people. But I feel like this Six of Cups again, which I think was in the other reading, you know, you you want to reconnect with the past or maybe you want to reconnect with past sources or back to something that is essential to you maybe closer to family maybe regrouping with family it's really a sense of um positive energy but also 
um, that, ex that excitement, that warm energy that you like to share. You're a fixer. You're a nurturer, uh, Virgo. You like to help others. You like to be there for others and find solutions. So the sun brings that abundance and brings that positivity um, and that, you know, it brings you that strength that tells you that no matter what you do, you're in that positive energy, you're in that warmth, right, that will follow you um, and bring you the connections you need and that joy you want with other people. It can be with family, with friends, with people, right, like back to sources. And um, this warm energy is going to help you succeed and sort of radiate who you are and, and what you stand for and um, to show your love to those you care about. And because of these challenges, I think you've discovered um, along the way, you know, who you really are and what your purpose is. And um, now you can push forward with this positive energy and persevere. Um, yeah, it's about confidence and boosting your confidence and that everything's going to be working out and that also you're not fear driven and you're not ego driven. And I think, okay, okay, that's again, another message I got in the other reading, apologies for that tech issues happen, but that it's not about ego power. And there was a lot of ego involved in the past situation or in a, or in a situation that, that you, you know, that you're still in all about ego, all about people that may be, you know, battling for positions or battling for their point of view and different points of view. And it's okay if they're different points of view, but it feels like it was all about ego. And also I feel like, you know, maybe other people saw something in you that they wanted, right? And that you're radiating your positive energy and your love for others and your love to find solutions and communicate and, you know, and, and so it was like, um, maybe it was just something that, um, that, yeah, not surprised. Yeah, yeah you, you don't want to deal with them anymore. You don't trust them. You don't trust them. And I think that they really, maybe there's a sense of jealousy a little bit there, right? Where people, you felt they didn't have your back and they disappointed you, whatever it is, and you don't want to deal with them anymore. Maybe you picked up slack for them and, you know, and they didn't care or lie to you or something like that. All right, let's see if there's one last card in this deck. It, it is something, yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, two, uh, three of swords, yeah, you're done, you're done. And then we have the, the ace of cups. So this is three aces. Now, this ace of cups popping up with the seven of swords and the three of swords, not like it came out before, tells me that emotionally this was difficult. This was your team. This was your gig. These, this was your, you know, this is your posse, right? Your vibe, um, your tribe. And, and it's like you are disappointed in these people and also in cutting the ties with these people. You thought they had your back. You thought this was your team. You thought this, these were the people you really wanted to work with, like ride or die. And here it's like all of a sudden you realize that they didn't have your back. And um, maybe they were just there for the ride. And maybe they were just there because you're a hard worker and you show up and you're committed. And, and even if you didn't have the same point of view, because I keep getting that, that there was disagreements and ego about the not the same point of view. And that's okay. Not everybody has to have the same point of view. And not everybody has, you know, goes in the same direction. But when you are working together on a project or together in a company on a team, there is a certain, you know, 
common denominator you have to have at one point to be able to work together. And I feel like here you've reached the point where emotionally it was draining. Emotionally, you don't want to deal with them anymore because it, it took too much out of you. And sometimes when the fight is too, too, when there's too much fight, right? And you have to convince in a way that's ridiculous and then to see that they don't have your back or went behind your back or whatever the situation is, right? Um, then it's hard to then believe that you can still work with these people. So it feels like you're cutting ties there and it is disappointing, but you're moving on to something else. And I think that you're finding your vibe in something Maybe people you worked with in the past, or maybe a past project, or maybe with family, whatever it is, you're feeling comfortable with these people again, even if it's people that you, it's almost like you wanna go back to your comfort zone, right? To heal from those bad people. And I say bad people in a cute way, like I don't think it's the end of the world, but it's like, you know, when we're disappointed in, um, in coworkers, or at one point the shoe just doesn't fit anymore and um, it, things that were really that flowed and that were natural at one point and and you know progress forward um in naturally before it feels like now you know it reached a point where you you had nothing to do with each other but here you are with the sun. So, and and the three of aces. So this ace here just tells me that's emotional, but it also gives me the energy of, with the two other aces, that there's something completely new starting, happy, and you are energized to do this, and you are sharing your positive energy and your love for these people that you probably already know, and this is your comfort zone. Interesting. All right. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Virgo. A weekly. Money and career. Wow. Four aces. That's impressive. That is impressive, Virgo. Four aces. So as much as you're disappointed, you're really empowered to build new. So good for you. Good for you. Cutting ties. But, you know, this is well thought out. And you were too restricted anyway. So this is really opening up to something more balanced and, and where you're, you're more comfortable. All right. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Always impressive cards, Virgo. Um, yeah, the, the Magician and the Six of Wands. So you're confident, and your confidence is boosted. And sometimes with negative stories, we are boosted to do a million times more and to change our destiny. So the Magician just says that it's time, that you have everything you need to do this, that trust yourself, right? It's all about understanding your strengths, that everything you've done up to now, your knowledge, your experience, your power, your intellectual power, and even emotionally, I feel like you're finding balance. It's a perfect time to move forward on this new job, project, business, whatever it is. Um, it's about having a clear vision of what you're creating and what you want, right? It's and and it's not it's about letting go of the ego letting go of the ego and i think that this past job maybe was a little constricted but it was also all about status status fame ego and that now it's about having that soul connection to your goal and to your intentions. And you 
or a powerful creative being, right? This is your opportunity to bring your higher self in alignment with your day-to-day -day actions to create your future, the future you want the most, right? So if you're clear on that, then, you know, the magician calls upon you to take inspired action. Just focus on that goal and, and bring it in, right? Be methodical and you know how to do that. You are a perfectionist, right? Planning, staying on track and carry out. And I, there's a boost there. You are a leader. You are going to make this happen, uh, Virgo, with the six of wands. Be proud. People will see your talent. People will see your leadership qualities. I mean, my oh my, you have four aces here so even if there's deception there is the overpowering positive energy in this new step project career chapter call it whatever you want and it is going to be different for each and every one of you all right i want to say that the magic word is uh, um empowerment I want to say empowerment. Um, yeah, empowerment. Uh, don't let the negative bog you down. Uh, you are empowerment. You are in the middle of a big change. So empowerment will be the word. If you wish to put your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put empowerment down below in the comment section and be subscribed. Thank you so, so much for watching. Virgos, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, gratitude to each and every one for connecting to this channel, for supporting this channel, watching these readings, and sharing your energies and journeys. So thank you. Gratitude to each and every one. Have a great week, Virgos. Take care. Bye-bye.